The boys is back. That's right, man. The boys got right back to it. The rookies have been in Allen Park since Saturday. The veterans arrived yesterday, and today they're already putting in that work, man. We'll have videos about those that coming later. But the Detroit Lions decided to make some early morning roster moves. This is coming from Detroit Lions Twitter. Yeah, I had to work, so I was unable to get this out. It says the Lions have placed the following players on the active NFI list. That list is very important. Carlton Davis, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Amik Robertson, and Traquan Smith. They decided to waive Matt Farniok. Okay, so that is, we have two wide receivers on the roster, Carlton Davis, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Amik Robertson, Traquan Smith. Now, that list is very important. It's not the PUP list, and it's not injured reserve. It is the uh, NFI list. So the NFI lists are injuries that were sustained away from the field, the NFL field. Okay, so for instance, Jamison Williams was hurt on the college field, but not in the NFL. So when he came back, he was NFI. Same with Hendon Hooker. He was hurt in his college game, NFI. If you are, so these injuries are injuries that could have been nagging them or something, not necessarily that they were doing anything wrong when they got injured, meaning, you know, there's stuff in, in the contract that they can't do. So maybe they have a nagging, I don't know, some nagging injury from somewhere else because these guys have regular lives. So they just live lives, something happened, stubbing toes. Could you imagine? I, I mean, how many times have you walked into something? piece of furniture, a wall, something like that, or you're swinging your hands being ridiculous, or you thought you cleared this corner and you didn't, and now you, you, you knuckled and slapped up against something, right? So these guys are fine. Um, this is not a big deal. Now, the difference would be if they were to start the season on this, then that's something different. Then they, they've got to miss four games if they start the season on this list. So the fact that it's going into training camp is completely different. Now, that probably means that we won't see any of these guys. The good news is they can come off this list at any point during now and the start of the season. It doesn't mean that they're going to be shelved the entirety of training camp or the preseason. It just means that right now to start training camp, they're on this list. It's not a big deal. Not something we need to be worried about. As a matter of fact, when it came to DJ Reader today in Brad Holm, uh, Dan Campbell's press conference, we've seen the last of Brad Holmes probably. Dan Campbell's press conference, that the DJ Reader timeline, this is what they were expecting them him when they signed. They were expecting for him to be on the pup list starting training camp. They fully expect, they have a timeline. They haven't said what that is, I don't think, but they have a timeline. This was part of the plan. As Hannibal from the A-Team used to say, I love it when the plan comes together. This is all part of the plan. So I'm not concerned about these guys being on this list. Doesn't really mean in too much of anything. We may see them during the, the training camp. We may not. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I have a, a little bit of an update that I got kind of yesterday. Don't think I need to make an entire video about this, but according to... I think it was Justin Rogers. I saw Justin Rogers, by the way, has his own independent media company and was there today. He he left the uh, Detroit News and he was there today, credentialed media. I need Justin Rogers as part of the syndicate. I'm just saying, Justin, I know you ain't gonna watch this, but if you do, man, come on, holla at your boy. Um, that the Broadwood said that the Detroit Lions are not leaving Allen Park anytime soon. It could have been Brad Galley uh, from Channel 7 that, this information came from it was one of them um, that they the, the partnership with Meyer is long term. So Meyer, in more ways than one, not only putting shade for fans, um, the right kind of shade. You guys are awesome for that anyway, uh, but keeping them in Allen Park for even longer. I couldn't imagine moving the facility. You got to build a new facility. It probably would take them a couple years anyway. So they didn't specify how long they would be in Allen Park, but that it, it, this is a long term deal. And yes, Rocket Mortgage is still around. So. Let me know your thoughts. Are you worried? Are you worried at all about any of these of these thoughts, any of these people being on? Traquan Smith, I don't think he makes the team. He might be a practice squad guy. But Donovan Peoples-Jones 
he makes the team as well. But I keep telling you, man, look out for Robert Woods or other cut wide receivers that could. Detroit said a while ago that they weren't looking for a wide receiver, but they also said Jeff Okuda was going into his, essentially his rookie year, and then he was traded a few weeks later. So you don't, you got to take what these guys say with a grain of salt. Uh, just just take it as they say it, you know what I mean? And, and always imagine that there's something underneath brewing or it could, you know, you're going to say what you need to say. But anyway, give me your thoughts on that. And I got to do this, man. I got to shout this guy out because this is my dude, my homie. He been this since he came into this space. And I promise you, there's no beef or animosity and there never will be with this individual here. I got to shout out my guy because um, he made it public today. I've known for quite some time, but uh, Let's Talk Lions is going to be a father for the first time. And that is a, a something that only happens once. And I only have one child, um, and I've only had that experience. No, well, it's a complicated thing. But <laughs> uh, now my child is is fourteen. He'll be fifteen going to high school. Let's talk Lions and his wife are going to be parents for the first time, and it is an awesome feeling. I want to say congratulations to those those two wonderful people, uh, and that I'm sure that they're going to be fantastic parents. So I had to, I had to shout them out, man. Had to shout them out because that's what this this whole channel, this whole, all we, we're about community. Good, bad, ugly, fighting, disagree, agree. We're about community and building each other up. That's really what we're about. So anyway, let me know your thoughts, man. Make sure y'all put, go over to Let's Talk Lions. Tell them, tell them Syndicate sent you and give him a congratulations, him and his wife for becoming first time parents because there's nothing like it. A lot of sleepless nights coming for him but let me know your thoughts in the comments below man you guys are awesome take care of yourself and each other it feels good to be back man and as always go lions